Hi, my name's David Harding from Grail Games. Yeah, yeah. But I am a game guy, so I can't show you my face. Um, what I thought we did... Wait, what was that? I've dropped it. That was the box of the game War Machine, Manhattan Project War Machine. I thought I'd do a quick solo playthrough for you just to give you an idea of how the game works and because I don't have anyone to play with. So it's solo. Um, this game is a dice version, or relative, I should say, maybe, of the other Manhattan Project games. You're going to see some things similar to especially Energy Empire here. Um, but let's just go. So I am the solo player, so I am the start player. <laughs> um, on the board here, you're going to see where I'll be putting my dice, these nice chunky dice. Um, these are basically my workers that I'm going to place out on the board. You can see that icons have to match icons or whatever. Um, and I can only put three dice in each section uh, on a turn. Now, there are some changes with the solo game, but they're very minor. Uh, in a basic game, in a multiplayer game, when I put my dice out on this board, um, if I do one of these main actions, either with the top hat, the wrench, or the star, if I do one of these really good actions, then everyone else at the table gets to do one of these okay actions from the same region. But obviously that doesn't happen in a solo game, so I've got less actions to deal with, to do, and you lose a bit of that stuff, but that's cool. Um, and the other thing that happens in a solo game is you don't get any of these cards here that I just dropped. We've got um, corporations here, companies. Um, everyone gets one of these at the start of the game that you uh, can activate or try and do the special actions. And we also aren't using the government grant cards. There's more than this. I just dropped them. That give you a game end scoring goal. Um, you don't have that. Instead, what you get is one of the buildings randomly, or you can choose, I guess, given to you that has this game end scoring thing on it. So I have that as my game end goal, and it blocks one of my building spots instead of getting those cool cards. So in the solo game, you're just missing out on the cards, and you're missing out on extra actions, um, but the rest of the game is the same. So how do you play? Well, I just knocked them somehow. Let's fix them. This is my board, and you might think, well, gee, that looks funny. Why is it in pieces, and why is some of it upside down? That's because I get to upgrade this during the game. At the moment, I can only get up to nine points have nine money, six iron or steel or whatever, six plastic. But if I upgrade this, then my tracks extend and I get bonus points. If my tokens end there, same, yeah, I could get even up here. These ones give me extra dice. So at the start of the round, um, you know, I'm going to have three dice here. There's another one somewhere. Where did I put it? There, on the board. <laughs> But in future turns, if I upgrade this, I get points at the end of the game, and I get places to hold other dice. Um, over here, if I upgrade these, I get more places for buildings, which is great. You can build a huge engine. Um, and if I upgrade this, I get an improved bonus action. Um, so let's just start. On your turn, you've got to do three things in order. Um, you roll your dice and assign them. Then you activate the board thing. Okay, well, I said that, assign them. Then you bring them back to activate your buildings, and then I forget the rest. I'm back. I remember it. I said it all. The three steps of your turn are roll your dice, then assign your dice to the board, then assign your dice to your buildings. That's it. <clears throat> In the solo game, I'm trying to get to 50 points, believe it or not. I've never done it, but I'm terrible. In the uh, multiplayer game, you play a number of rounds depending on how many players you've got. Um, it's just the most points wins, obviously. So at the board, what am I going to be doing here? Well, here I'm just, oh, my finger's off. going to be earning money. Here I'm going to trade stuff to an upgrade. I can trade stuff for money. I can build um, commercial buildings for one plastic less, or I can build any building for one dollar more. So basically you can see in this commercial zone, it's all about money. These are the buildings currently on offer in this section that I can add to my board. Here's their cost above it. If one gets bought, you reflect fresh. Um, I'll talk about them when I get to them. Up here in the um, government area, you've got government buildings, of course. They cost steel and money, whereas the commercial was all about plastic and steel. 
in this um, zone, you've got get plastic instead of money, trade steel for points. You can uh, trade money to clean up nuclear waste. That's always a good thing. And you can get uh, government buildings for one steel less, or you can buy any of the other two building types for one plastic more. And finally, over here at the industrial section, you've got get steel, trade plastic for points, um, pay money to do a certain kind of upgrades on your board, and you can get industrial buildings for one dollar less, or you can get the other two types of buildings for one steel more. And here are the buildings on offer here with their prices, which are mostly about money. So you have to sort of go everywhere to do everything, but you can't do everything because your dice sort of, oh, you, I'll be back. I'm back. Because your dice determine what you do. Okay, let's go. Well, let's play Manhattan Project Dice, War Machine Dice. Here we go. Okay, my first roll is quite good because I've got three of the main types of actions and no nuclear. I should explain what these are. So these icons let me place my workers on the board, um, but remember that was a wrench, people. You've also got energy on these dice. Energy lets you do the secondary actions here and on your buildings, but to use um, the energy, you must already have placed one of the main dice in this section to use energy in that section. So if you just roll energy, I'm afraid you're a bit stuck. Anyway, also on your dice, you've got this nuclear symbol. This is a wild symbol, but if you go into the activate your workers phase and you've got um, the nuclear stuff, then you get nuclear waste. These are minus one point. Um, unless you do the cleanup action, which was on this place here, and it was also in a lot of buildings, then you turn it and it's now worth a point. Okay, got it? So what was that, a wrench? Okay, I can reroll twice, like in Yahtzee and things like this but I've got to keep at least one uh, one of my dice. I'm just going to re-roll this. Oh, I might as well, oh, but now I've got to keep it, doll. All right, I'm stuck. I'm doing this. Deal with it. Move it or lose it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to look at my board. I didn't start with my starting resources. I'm back. Can you tell I don't know what I'm doing? Okay, I do. I just don't know how to video. Um, okay, so I start with, the first player of any game starts with two money, one steel, and one pink plastic thing. Um, if you're playing at other player counts, you'll have different stuff. I believe I did that right. Yeah, I think so. I'm not going to check now. Look in the comments below if I did it wrong. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm going to do. Now, I don't have a lot of plastic. I need plastic to buy these buildings um, and also trade for other stuff. Because I'm going to that zone, I might as well do that. This wrench is going to go to the industrial zone. So I'll be getting steel. I probably I can't afford to do much else at this point. So that's what I'll do. I'll come here. I'll get I can choose any of the special star, sorry, any of the special star actions. I don't need this. I don't can't really do that yet. It's a bit of a waste, maybe, at this point. And I don't have the things to get that. So I'm going to go here, get two plastic. One, two, then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to get two steel. One, two. Wow, my uh, war machine is growing. Now, with this one, so I can put either energy or stars here. I think I can buy, I've got steel money. I can buy anything there except for this one. I don't have enough money. So this building, when I activate it, I can trade a plastic and a steel once for two money and two points. That's pretty cool. It costs one dice to activate it. And this building I can afford, uh, if I activate it, I can trade in a clean nuclear waste for a steel. Or, no, no, for every nuclear waste that's clean that I've got, I get a steel. That's great too, but I'm nowhere near needing that. So I think I'm going to get this. This costs me only two steel because of the discount and two money. So I pay two money. I don't like getting rid of my money. And two steel, just like in real life. And this goes in the correct section on my board, which is the, um, what is it? Government section. All right. So now I've got two buildings, although this one doesn't do anything till the end of the game, and I should remember that. For every two steel at the end of the game, I get a point. 
Okay, then this moves along and gets cheaper, and this one comes out. That's another game end thing. For every government building at the end of the game, I get a bonus point. All right, that's that first phase done. Then I take these dice. Now, they've got to come to my board. Uh, they've got to match. Again, you cannot put energy in a space without there already being one of the main dice. But I can do that. I can do that. Now, this building needs one in this zone to activate. Um, I've got two, bit of a waste, but I don't have other buildings yet. This doesn't activate, so that was a waste too. Um, I might as well do this just to show you. So I'm going to activate this. And by the way, if I had multiple buildings, the dice don't get spent. So those two dice can be used for all the buildings I've got. Now I can trade in once a plastic and a steel for two points and two money. So a plastic, oh no, I've run out of steel. Two points and I'm on the board. Two money. No, two points. All right, that's it. Okay, so now I get my dice back. Boom, boom. Put them in the slots if I want to. And it's round two. The clock is counting down. The clock is counting down. Hey ho, the merry yo. The clock is not that. That's not a good clock. The doomsday clock is it? All right. I've got a top hat which lets me go to the commercial section. Get some money. Do some trading. Buy some cool buildings. I've got nuclear which lets me go anywhere, but it does cause waste and I've got an energy thinking about what I want to do that's actually a pretty 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 good role let me just have a look at these buildings so I can um, spend two steel to clean up something I can get either at the cafeteria yum either a coin or a plastic I can get a steel and a point hmm but that's expensive right now I don't think I want to do that I would like to get at least six money. No, no. Uh, wh where is it? Six. Where's the upgrade? A steel and a plastic. I can do an upgrade. Here it is. Six money to do a dice upgrade, which lets gives me more dice in a turn. I'd really like to get to that. Pay three. I don't need that right now. I'm actually going to keep this, and then it sort of shows you more of the things you can do. Okay. I'm starting the round with nuclear energy, so I get a waste. That's minus one point. This will be really simple. I'm going here to get three money. And then I'm going here to get three money. So that's six money. Right? And then this one I'm going to place over here. And I'm going to pay six money to upgrade this. So I put this money straight back down and upgrade A1. Get two points and an extra dice. Now that doesn't come in till next round. Oh, these aren't meant to be flipped over. Cheater. Okay. Then I'm going back. So I don't change these faces. Oh, I should have got a building. I'm still doing no I'm doing nothing this turn. Because that's endgame. And that's just, I don't have. Ah, oh, I didn't think it through. See, if you're a good player, you think all this through. That's the end of the turn. Dull. Now I've got four dice, though. Oops. Don't want to knock that energy, that waste. Two energy, a star, and a wrench. I can re-roll twice. I've also got this power where I can get a die face of my choice um, if I chuck dice. I don't think I want to do that, though. I'd rather just deal with what comes. In a solo game, did I mention you need 50 points to win? All right. I think I do want to clean this up. I do want to upgrade. I really want buildings, though. Plastic and money is where it is right now. So it looks like I might be getting one of these buildings. Get money for dice. Get something for points. Okay. Okay. I'm going to re-roll these two energy. Okay. I might stay with that. Four dice is so much nicer. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get plastic so i'm using the star actions i get two plastic okay then i'm going to come here to buy a tile which will be this one so this costs one minus so two plastic and a steel i don't have steel 
Hang on. Hang on. It's solo. I can reset. I need steel. Get to steel. Then I meant to do it that way. I go here. I buy this. So two plastic and a steel. Um, this comes down here. This moves down. Nice commentary. Yeah, I thought so too. Then I've got this little number. Hmm. Has to come here. Get plastic. Trade two steel for two points. Three coins to clean up. I only have two coins. That's annoying. I don't have enough to buy even with the discount. So it looks like I'm either trading a steel for two points or getting two plastic. That's a bit boring. It's not boring. I'm having a blast. But it's not a big move. All right. Oh, I forgot about the dice matching here again. Let's see. Bring them down. Okay. So I can put these here, which means I can activate this twice. Okay. It needs one worker die. Um, it... it it can be activated. No, it can't. Silly me, because once I activate it, it goes down. But if I had more buildings, I could have activated them. This. Oh, I can't activate it because it needs two dice. I've only got one there, you dumb dumb. You see, I'm not. Oh. Okay. I can activate this once. So I trade a plastic and a steel for, and get two coins and two points. Now, you can see why I'm not going to get to 50. The game is halfway done. And because I'm not very good at thinking through bringing the dice back home again, jiggity jig, um, I'm not good at getting double actions in my turn. Um, at least in the solo game, I'm very bad. So I'm good at activating the board if I do say so myself. But when I bring the dice home, there's nothing for them to do. It's like, thanks for nothing, schmuck. All right. Uh, round three, Doomsday Clock Ticks. Did I mention I'm still the start player? Um, this I want to clean up. Let's roll the dice. Energy. Now, energy I've been slacking off on, but, you know, it can be helpful because even though the actions you get aren't so good, when you come over here, they're really um, malleable. Hmm. But I'd really like at least a top hat and a star to get this going. I'd really like more buildings. I think I'm going to re-roll these. Okay. What did I say I wanted? I wanted a star, a top hat. Maybe I sit with that. It gives me a lot of variety, even though it will give me a um, nuclear waste. What a waste. Um, you know what? Let's, let's just get Okay. All right, let's go crack the whip. Okay, what do I want to do? I'd really like more buildings to have more things to do. I still want to upgrade stuff. I can almost afford to get a fifth one. That'd be good. Let's work to that, except I can't get money this turn because I don't have top hats. I have to get money over here and do it next turn. That's okay. Uh, I really didn't think about this. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do that again. Well, that was worth buying. This is going to get me four money because I got four dice. Ah, oh, silly dum-dum. Well, I guess I want to get some buildings here or here that will activate here because I've got these icons here. Good thinking. Um, that one I really wanted is still expensive, but I think I can afford it this time. Let's just do that before I forget. So I'm going here. Oh, so much money. What a, is this worth it? I don't know. This is going to cost me three money because of the discount and two plastic. And then we'll flip over this, which is get a point for every cleaned nuclear waste. And this goes here. Oh, I didn't pay. It was three money. So I'd be on one and two plastic. Now I've got this. Uh, I could do energy here. I don't have to do the big actions first, but, you know. I can't do this. <clears throat> I need steel to buy things. Where am I going to get steel from? Over here. I could put two here to get two steel. If 
from the energy um, zone. Is two still enough? I think it is. Is it a good move? I don't think it is. Okay, let's do it anyway. And then I go here and I buy. Now, I can only afford this one. It'll cut this one. Sorry, you weren't in shot. You get a one steel discount. What a waste. That That's not doing me anything. I don't even have any clean nuclear waste. Well, this is a great playthrough. You show, I'm showing you how not to play. If you can beat my score at the end, you're an average player. Here we go. Now these guys come home. All right, so this would go here. This would go here. And then I can decide where these go. Um, not really. It doesn't do anything because this can only be activated once with one die. This can only be activated once, once. So it doesn't do anything. Okay. Can I do this? No, I don't have a steal. Ugh. I can do these in any order. I can do these in any order. If I had a cleaned waste, I could have done this first, got a steal, and then done this. So this is a waste. Great war machine I got going. This is like the this is the side that loses the war I'm playing. This is end of the game. Good luck getting any points there, you loser. I can do this. Oh, oh, I can do this. Okay, I got dice here. Spend one, though you don't spend it. Get a point and a steal. Get a point and a steal. It was the other way around. Then I come here. Get trade a steel and a plastic to get two money and two points. One, two. That was all right in the end. Um, I'm going to start running out of room for points. I'm going to have to flip this. You do it over here. I'm going to need a steel and a plastic again. I mean, there might be buildings that let you do that too. All right. I can put my dice back on the spots. I really want to upgrade this. Can you see the tension build in my head? Because I don't have the time. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, hmm, hmm. Well, plastic is good. So stars give me plastic and buildings there. Um, nuclear, maybe I just bite the bullet and do that. Um, energy, energy. I'm going to, I'll just do these. Okay, okay, top hat, top hat. Maybe I sit there because the top hat would come over here. I could do this, although I won't get to do the star buildings. I guess I will. I've got stars. What I won't be doing this turn is the wrench buildings. Not missing too much there. Maybe I'll stick with this. Okay, what am I going to do? Well, to upgrade this, I'm going to need a steel and or a, no, no, a steel and a plastic. I have neither of those. And I'm not going to get them all here. So that's a next turn thingy. I could go for money and get my fifth dice for the last round. I'm going to need three more money. Okay, I'll do that first. Get three money. Then where do I go for that? Over there. I didn't get a wrench, you dumb. Ugh. I needed a wrench so that I could pay six to upgrade and get my final dice. Okay, that's not happening. Um, maybe I'll still get the money. Because what else am I going to do with that hat? I could get some buildings. I really wish I'd cleaned up. Why don't I do some cleaning up with the money I just got? So I put this here. Pay three money to clean this up. That's now, that's like a two point difference. Because it was minus one, now it's worth one. And it will help me over here if I ever get the dice. That was some others. Um... But now what to do with this? I can get two plastic, don't have steel to sell. I could get a building that I don't have steel. All right, I guess I'm getting plastic. I'll use it at some point. And then this, it's energy. It can only go to one of these two places. So do I want money? Do I want to trade something for two money? Do I want one of these buildings? Um, I can't afford them because there's no discount when you use energy. Um, do I want plastic, trade steel for a point, get a, do I have, no, nope, I can't do any of that. So I guess I'm going here. 
and I will trade a plastic for two money. I'm really not playing this optimally. Whatever. Okay. It's because I'm holding a camera. I'm much better without the camera. Okay, these will come here. They have to. These, This will come here. Nice classy hat. Oh, finally, I can do this. So it costs two dice to activate this. For every die I've got, a money. One, two, three, four. I'm maxed out. I maxed out. Now I can do these. They both cost one. Okay, I can finally do this. I've got one clean thingy. I get one of those thingies. This one. do I can do it because I just did that. I can trade a plastic and a steel Oops. for two points and two. You know what? I'm going to keep my plastic and my steel. I am not getting a lot of points. Okay. Last round. Oh, may the dice I roll be beautiful. Look, I haven't even filled it. I haven't even done that. I haven't even done that. I haven't even done that. Now, in a multiplayer game, you do get more actions, remember. As, someone, as soon as someone does a main action, uses a main icon in one of these sections, you get to do one of the lesser actions, the energy actions, for free. You don't have that in a solo game, but that's the challenge, right? That's the challenge. Okay, spanner in the works. Do I want it? Well, I could upgrade, but that's going to get me two points if I upgrade this, but I'm not going to get to use that. Um, another building would be nice, but, you know, okay, so I could get a point with that building. I could, don't need, I could get two steel with that building. Ah, I really should be upgrading this and moving things up to get points. How do I do that? I need this. A steel and a plastic. I've got it. I didn't roll any hats. Okay, now I know I need some hats. I said I need some hats. What the? Okay, I can swap dice to get whatever I want. I'd have to chuck dice though. Nah. Let's just go for it. Okay, let's just die here on this hill. Ugh. Okay, what am I doing? I am going to... <sighs> this seems so... I've really done it here. I could get a point, two points. I have nothing to clean. I don't have enough steel to get any of this. I could buy another build, another building for a plastic cost. Um, the only buildings I could afford are money buildings, which are over here. I could get this. I don't need that. Okay. So I guess I'm just going to get... You know what? I'm not going to do that yet. Do I need the steel or not? Two points would be good. Except I'm going to max out on points then. I really need to do this, I think. But I can't. Mm. And I didn't get any buildings that let me do that stuff. Okay, let's look over here. I've got a wrench. I could turn a plastic into two points. I, I Six coins for two points. This is... Uh, it's the same difference because... So I get two points if I upgrade this, but I'm not going to get to use that. So it's the same difference, but the plastic or money, what is more precious to me? I'm not sure. Well, I could get more plastic here and then the... Pla okay, so it's just some something. So two plastic. Then I come over here. Now I can do it twice. So I'll then sell those two plastics. I don't have the point space. I'll just do it once. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Then I've got these two energy dice that I have to put in those zones. Um, you know what? Now I can afford one of these buildings. Uh, get coin or plastic. Clean up. For every clean up, get a point. I think that's the one. But I can't get a discount on this side of the board with energy. So can I afford it? Four money, two plastic? Yes, I can. So I guess that's what I'm doing. Five money, 
gets me this, which goes here. This moves down, it'll be something I want, right? For every um, uh, industrial building in the row, get a coin and uh, or a steel. Okay, so then I've still got this one. I can go here again. I can't afford any more buildings. Or I can go here and do one of these. I can't afford any of the buildings. I do have a steel, so I could get a point. I guess I'll do that. It's a solo game. It's just about maximizing points at this. I don't have any point. I can't. Oh, dum dums. Um, I've really got myself stuck here, haven't I? I, you know what? I think I'll get a plastic that I can use over here. To get one of my plastics back. Okay, last time bringing them home. All right, so this automatically can go there. This can go here. I don't need to put anything else here because that just needs one. I don't need anything. I don't need, they don't need to go anywhere because this one will activate both. This one will activate that. I don't have a top hat, so I can't even go there. All right. Hopefully this has at least shown you the challenge of the game, right? Okay, what will I do first? I think I'll do this first. I've got one cleaned up thing. So I get one steel. Um, I could do, you know, I might as well just do this before I forget. A plastic and a steel. Um, gives me two money. I don't have any room for points. What was the point? And then this one, I get a steal and a point. But I don't have any... All right, see, if I was a good player, I would have upgraded this. I would have got... Oh, I would have needed to get up to here, probably. The next jump is to 10, but then the next jump is to 20 points. I would have got there. I totally would have got there. Plus, you get these points. All right, the war's over. Time to count it up. Did I get to 50? Spoiler alert, no. So I got nine here. That's good. These don't get me any points because they're not on this board. Well, it doesn't really matter anyway. I think you just get the points for flipping it, don't you? Um, then I've got game end here. For every two steel, I get a point. So that's an extra point. So I'm up to 10. Uh, there was another game end. Here it is. Every one of these I get a point, so that's 11, but then it itself gets me a point, that's 12. Then over here I get two points, so that's 14, and that's all I did. So 14 points is a massive loss. Massive. Congratulations, you've sat through the entire video of me playing Silicon Valley, no wait, what is it? <laughs> Manhattan Project War Machine Solo. Please do better than me because I did very bad.